Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. Today, we have the world's first chat GPT alternative, the open source chat GPT alternative. I don't think there has been anything like this before. So we wanted to discuss about open chat kit. This is from a team called Together Computer. So we're going to discuss what this open AI chat GPT alternative looks like. We're going to see a demo and then we're going to get into the technical details of how this has been built and what is the stage we are. And even though it is unfair, we're going to compare this with chat GPT for a couple of responses to see how and where does it stand. To start with, let's look at a quick demo of how it looks. To open the hugging face pieces for the first time, it's going to ask you to accept certain details and information. And then you just go through it. Like for example, do not share any sensitive information. It might not be 100% accurate. And you also can give feedback and you can go to the GitHub issues and then raise an issue. Agree to the testing and feedback terms. And then once you reach here, you can look at all the examples and uh, let's just because we are looking at the demo, let's pick one of the examples and then see, ask a question. So I'm going to ask, explain gradient descent like I'm five. So gradient descent is a, it's a, an optimization technique in machine learning. So I'm just asking you to explain it and uh, let's see what it does. It actually, it actually does a decent job as you can see that it, it explains. I'm not sure if I can explain it to a five year old, but it actually explains gradient descent about uh, finding minimum and all these things. Now you can go ask more questions here. Let's get into the technical details. When you go to the GitHub repository, you can see that this is from a group called Together Computer. And right now they're calling it Open Chat Kit. So now what is Open Chat Kit? Open Chat Kit provides a powerful open source base to create both specialized and general purpose chatbots for various applications. So what does this kit include? It includes an instruction tuned 20 billion parameter language model one. Second, it includes a 6 billion parameter moderation model two. And also it includes an extensible retrieval system for including up to date responses from custom repositories. Where does it like what, what does this comprise of? It was trained on the OIG 43 million training data set, which was a collaboration between together lion you might have heard this from the stable diffusion world on to court much more than a model release. This is the beginning of an open source project. We are releasing a set of tools and processes for ongoing improvement with community contribution. So you will find the code for training an open chat, open chat kit model, testing the inference using the model, augmenting the model with additional contacts from a retrieval index. So now this is what it actually talks about. Now, when you see this model, you might think that this is like a drop in replacement of chat GPT because I said this is the world's first open source chat GPT model. No, it's not a drop in replacement of chat GPT at this point, at least. So imagine like when uh, Dali was there and stable diffusion was there, like the day one of stable diffusion and uh, Dali, or even you can compare it with uh, mini Dali, the, the previous one, which is now renamed as Cryon. Imagine that world and Dali, how it looked like. So I think we are probably there and this is really a great thing for open source community and uh, the kind of collaboration that we might have because chat GPT is quite unbeatable at this point. Like you, I, I don't think there's any better model than chat GPT at this point, but having a model that is open source, the methodologies are open source. And uh, you have got like a toolkit completely together that is open source. And there are multiple groups of researchers coming together to build something exciting that is potentially a chat GPT alternative. I am super pumped for this thing. So this is good. This is good. Whatever it performs, it's actually good. Now, how can you run this? There are a lot of different ways to run this. Uh, but the base model, if you talk about the base model, so the base model is a 20 billion parameter variant of GPT Neo X. So GPT Neo X uh, is, is a, it's a truly an open source model like before GPT three or before GPT 3.5. A lot of people try to replicate the success of GPT three and then GPT Neo X is one of those models. So this is a model called GPT Neo XT chat based 20 billion. So this is a $20 billion, $20 billion, $20 billion parameter variant of GPT Neo X. This is fine tuned on conversational data set. And the good thing is this model that the model that they fine tuned actually is also available 
on hugging face model up so now when you click the link you can go see this so you can one on hugging face spaces you can try the app in itself like the chatbot like we saw in the demo but you can also see the detail model in itself which you can try so now as part of open chat kit the code base is available here gpt neo xt chat base 20 billion is a 20 billion parameter language model fine tuned from eleuther ais gpt neo x with over 40 million instructions on carbon 100 percent carbon negative compute so what what caught my eye uh definitely carb it's, it's it's been trained on carbon negative compute i'm quite interested in seeing how they did it in in the case of bloom you you could see that you know they also mentioned about this how they used the heat from the science uh, supercomputer for a lot of other things but here if you see it is 40 million instructions so i'm not, I'm not sure like what are those instructions maybe they they have these details but um Right now, I'm not getting into the detail, but you can actually see what all the things that the model can do. So you can see the examples of what things that model can do. And we are going to go over every single detail of what this model can do. I'm not going to run this code in this Google Colab notebook and let's show it to you. That's probably the next video. But today we're going to see what is the strength of this instruction fine tuned 20 billion parameter GPT new X model. So it can do summarization and it can do question and answering within a context, like within a given a context, it can do summarization, question and answering. It can do extraction. It can extract set of information from uh, a particular text. Like you give a text and then you can say a markdown table with four columns. It can do, it can do extraction. It can do classification. This is very, very zero shot classification. Classify the sentiment of the following text into positive, negative, neutral, and you can see it can do zero shot classification. And it has got other uh, things like examples, like what chat GPT has been typically asked to do, like creative tasks, like write an essay, write a poem and a lot of other things. Now coming to the weakness of the model. So what this model does not do certain things well. Um, and actually at this point it doesn't do well, but with community contributions and help, it can do well. It doesn't do knowledge based closed question and answering really well because the chat GPT chat bot may hal hallucinate and produce incorrect result. It doesn't do coding task well because there was not enough corpus in the training data that has like coding related information, but that is again, like you can fine tune another version repetition. The chat bot might repeat the examples like we saw it in the example as well, but we'll see it again. Context switching. If you change the topic in the middle of a conversation, the chat bot often cannot make the switch automatically and it is not good at creative writing and long answers which is one of the core strengths of chat gpt if you will a lot of people have been using chat gpt for creative writing write poem write essays um, write blog post um, but this model at this point is not really a uh, great at it this is one of the weaknesses of the model so so far we discussed the strength of the model we discussed the weakness of the model we also discussed what is this model, you know, how, how can you access this model? Like we just saw the model is available on hugging face model hub. You can literally start using the model. You can see a couple of examples and then you can try to run it and then see, but also you can like literally download this model. If you have got enough compute, enough GPU, enough, uh, enough memory, you can literally use this model within hugging face model hub, um, using their pipeline and transformers and then start practicing, like start playing with this model itself. Now that this model is also Apache 2.0, which is, um, which is a good license, uh, a permissive license. So now that we have known about this model, now that we have learned how this model has been built, let's get into the actual, uh, comparison. Like, let's see how this model actually the spaces where you can go try this model while, as you saw before, you have to give certain permissions, but you know, we can, we can, uh, look at certain examples. Now, what are the examples that they've given larger cities as extraction, summarization and dialogue, question and answering, sentiment analysis, email summarization, explain like I am five, which is again, chat GPT is really good at it. Question and answering, uh, travel advice, bash scripting, which is coding, write, writing a short letter, financial questions. So I'm going to ask a simple question, like, uh, um, something that we will ask here and we'll also ask chat GPT. It also is limited by the maximum number of responses again to avoid hallucination, a lot of other things. So I'm going to ask a simple question. I'm going to say, who is the prime minister? Okay. Who is the 
first prime minister of india this is a question that i've asked here it says first prime minister is jawaharlal nehru he was the pr- first person to hold office and you can, right now you can see the hallucination how it happens it says he was also the first person to be elected as president of india so let's ask the same question to chat gpt go chat gpt and send it the first prime minister he was served as okay now you can see how the detail changes but again the answer is factually correct in both the cases now let me go back and then ask another simple question 2 plus 2 equals so if i say 2 plus 2 equals it says 4 is quite good chat gpt is also quite good like there was like a lot of memes about chat gpt at the start but the same thing uh, but right now it does well so you can see 2 plus 2 has done well so simple math seems to be working fine now i want to ask another question which is uh, which is slightly more uh, complicated like to look at the context who is the greatest chess player of all time let's see okay it says that would be magnus carlsen he is the current world chess champion and has won the world chess champion three times um okay let's ask the same question the greatest it's much of a debate because now you know chat gpt doesn't want to give you the right answer but it wants to first start with a diplomatic context and then it gives you an answer and i've seen also multiple times with uh, the latest chat gpt model in the api it actually always leans towards um, gary crash pro so now let's go back and say what about what about gary kasprov uh, let's see what it says like okay it says i'm sure i i'm so, sorry i'm not sure i can help you but here i can actually go and say what about magnus carlsen oh, okay now the response i have to regenerate the response something went wrong okay this this is the problem when you have a model that is Uh, that is completely you know on platform based but again you can see that how when you try to switch the context or when you try to have follow up question this was not really good doing good so overall what is my opinion about this thing i think this is a great first step in the world of chatbots um, with with open source tools and technologies and i've been always a fan of gpt j gpt neo models so looking looking at somebody who has actually built on top of the existing open source work and also making it sure making sure that it is open source and then also giving giving us uh, tips on how to use this model how you can run this thing and know uh, like for example if you want to uh, train like what kind of optimizer you have to use i think this is this is really great for the entire open chatbot ecosystem in itself and uh, and i think i think this is at a very great start like given the responses to start with it looks amazing to me uh, that if we have a open source chat gpt alternative the world's first chat gpt alternative open source alternative and that is actually doing a really good job in terms of like where you would see like the first version of model like when you compare it with chat gpt today which is quite unfair because chat gpt itself has gone through multiple iterations based on the human feedback and uh, a bunch of independent researchers coming together versus like fully vc funded sam altman uh, led open ai these are like two completely incomparable um, entities but still i am so glad to see that somebody has taken this challenge up and then try to build something and then made it open source and made it available for all of us to use so kudos to the entire together together team for making it open source and making it available also taking up this challenge so please spread this word i would uh, i w- like i usually don't ask you to you know share something but uh, i think this has to be uh, shared with a lot of people because this will motivate people to come and co- contribute collaborate with them and also support them in whatever ways that we could do but for now go star the repository and i will give all the required links in the youtube description make sure you check it out i hope this video was helpful to you in learning about the world's first chat gpt alternative which is open chat from together computer bunch of independent researchers from uh, different companies uh, different organizations if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting